When learning a language, you need to know how to find resources and to assess what your kind of learning is so you can better learn the language on your own terms, at your own pace, to keep you interested, to better absorb the language. I'm Ben Schwell and we're going to go through one language today, Cornish, and show you the resources in that language. First of all, what is the Cornish language? just so you get awareness of where we are in the world. So the British Isles and Brittany, they have Celtic languages. These are the native languages of these regions, especially the British Isles. And Cornish was part of the Brythonic branch of the Celtic languages, related to Welsh for the north and Breton for the south. In fact, one of the things that makes Cornish so unique is that it's almost like a bridge between it's actually closer to Breton in some ways because of historical trading routes across the sea. The south coast of Cornwall has a lot of really rich ports and locations for fishing which happen to coincide with Brittany across the water having the same thing on its coast. So these two communicate with each other well into well to the Protestant Reformation when Cornwall was broken apart from its Celtic cousin by force of the state. But that's another matter. Cornish did suffer quite a dark history for a long time. It suffered genocides, it was repressed by the state, these people were banned a Bible in their own language, more than one rebellion was cut off, people were executed. And because of that the language went out as a community language. However, just because your language goes out, you've seen the case in Hebrew, does not mean that you've lost. You can bring it back. You can have it again. If you have enough resources from what was there before, you can rebuild. And that's exactly what the Cornish have done. People always had knowledge of it in some way or other. People knew carols. People knew place names. People were able to speak bits of it through the 19th century when it was not in any case a community language. And then a man in 1904, Henry Jenner, came along and revived the Cornish language as a spoken language, giving it rules to coalesce around this book here, a handbook for the Cornish language. And this is a milestone. 1904 begins the revival of the language. And through this period, people are trying to learn how to speak it again through the 20th century. And coming to today, we're trying to get to the point where we can have communities where people speak it naturally. That's the key thing. And to do that, you need resources. And so in this video, I want to give you some key resources for the language. Here's a few of them. This is not all of them, just a few. So the first one, Kowethas and Yath Kriniwak. Basically the Cornish Association or the Cornish Society. And Kowethas means association or community in a way, a club. Yath means language and Kanuwak is Cornish. This is a licensed charity. They have publications. They have a lot of social events. If you want to hear and see the language around you, this is a great way to begin. They have weekend events. They have um, walking clubs, uh, I think I've seen, where you can speak with people and you know, hang out with people, really get a feel for what it sounds like, how it works, just by social activity. So this is indispensable. And you can join them and you get newsletters and all kinds of information that's really valuable. So I'll put them down below. The second resource, Kesfa and Taves, can you work? So Kesfa means a board and Taves is Tongue, just another word or way to say language. So the board of the Cornish language. And this is comprised of people wanting to provide a lot of educational materials, promoting it in schools, making sure that people can take exams in this language, providing resources, educational resources. There's free books you can get through this group and this is a really important one for promoting it in the educational system because for any language you have to have a way to teach the next generation. So if you're interested in including this in your school or if you want to get educational materials to teach yourself, 
This is a great resource to have and I'll put them down below. Because it was lost as a community language, we're talking only a few thousand people who speak it at some level. And they're very diluted across Cornwall and the world in some cases. There's no true density. That's why resources are so important. There's a lack of resource in the Cornish language and it is a real problem because it's not supported by the state. And so I want this video here to show you that there are resources. Go Cornish is really good for trying to make the language fun for kids and it involves work in primary schools, promoting it within the curriculum and how to engage, especially with children, but also learners and adults. There's some apps there you can get into. There's the Memrise course that there's links to that through and Maggie Ann as well, another app for learning Cornish. So if you're interested in getting involved in your school or trying to get it to your children, this is probably a good way to start. So go Cornish, I'll put a link down below for you there. The fourth one, Desky Kanuek. Desky means learning or to learn. And this is a website with lots of audio files an audio course and this is really good because whenever you're learning a language and you may not have speakers around there's not that many speakers of Cornish we're trying to grow it you need to be able to hear the language and this is an audio course designed to get you through the language without having lots of paperwork and books so if you're more of an audio learner this is a really great place to start it has other resources too if you want to get into the grammar like PDFs to explain how things work. So I'll put that down for you in the description below if you're more of an audio type person and you need those kind of resources. Speaking of audio, there is Cornish language radio. Here's one, um, Radio An Gernuigva. And this also has television. And here's their website. And Lavar Koth, you Lavar Gwir. With Dorn Ray there, then Tavis Ray here. Some of you have down in the comments asked me, well, how can I contribute to your channel? Well, here's, I'm going to give you a way to do that. I don't have enough to be monetized yet. I will within a month or two. But I don't even know if I will at that point. And I don't want to put a Patreon channel and ask for that yet because I want more of a base and more people who enjoy this content before I even think about money. So for those of you who would like to do any kind of contribution, please give to this Cornish language television station to help them keep going. Here's the link. I'm putting it on this video. You can see in the circle here how to give to this Cornish language television station. And I'll put it down in the link below. But what this Radio and Gernuigva does is it offers a segment once a month of actual Cornish language television content and consistent radio content. And there's access to music and social activities as well. So this is very important. It's important that people see that it's a vibrant modern language. It's important that Cornish has media outlets of its own, like any other language. So that's an important resource for you there. Radio and Gernuigva. And that VA at the end, that suggests a place, literally the place of Cornish radio. Six. One that I found really interesting is say something in Cornish. Now, this is related to I think it's the same people who do say something in Welsh, say something in Dutch, and it's a language learning enterprise. And what this is good with and because of is that it has a set format that it's practiced with and it knows what works, I think. And there's resources there and the more you put in, the more you get. There's audio, but it's a set course as well. You can find more resources for that down below. I'll put that there for you. And I just wanted to make you aware of that because this is a professional company trying to get people to be more immersed in languages. And I'm really glad that they've considered Cornish really worthy of promoting and 
finding a business enterprise through. So good job on that. I hope you find more people to use that resource. Say something in Cornish.com. Omniglot.com. Now this website has loads of languages, but pertaining to Cornish, it has those YouTube videos there where you can hear and people are telling you about Cornish and more information about Cornish generally through videos. There's explanations on how the language works, a brief history of the language, a broad overview without going into too much depth. If you want to just get a broad idea of how the language works, there's some grammar there and explanation of how things are pronounced, the alphabet, lots of information there on a concise little page that you could read over lunch if you want to and basically get a grasp of the language and what it entails. So that's a great resource. And there are other resources attached to that page on the bottom of it and other resources that you can find through it. So that's one there for you. Omniglot.com. I'll put it down below and attach the Cornish bit to that link as well for you. Academy Canuac. Now this is an online resource. It has links to uh, place name research it is more of an academic resource, but it has something that's indispensable, and that is a searchable online dictionary with loads of words. So you can read Lord of the Rings in Cornish and look up words through this language. And sometimes there's pronunciation, people speaking it, so you can hear it, how the word's pronounced. It's a great resource, and so I'll put Academy Trinu up for you down below as well. Who does not like Tintin? When I'm learning a language or beginning in a language like I did with French, I just, I love Tintin. Did that with Dutch as well. So this is a great resource that you have this really famous character, lighthearted, simple language that you can immerse yourself in through Cornish. And there's lots of other, well, popular books like this that you can get into in the Cornish language. People are really passionate about providing these resources and they're doing what they can. So I'll put a link down there below if you want to get in touch with that and get that into your home. Coupling that resource with a dictionary is very important and it works. You get the cycle put into your head of the patterns that form words in the language. Tintin's a great way to start. Well, I hope you enjoyed this content, and if you did, hey, hit that like button. And Dios Thank you very much for watching. Me Thank you very much.